contingencies. Edith? Come and get him. Come on, Peter Tingle. Hi guys, Mojo Reviews, and today we're gonna take a look at Mavex Far From Home Spider-Man. As you can see, the box is really simple, couple hands, couple feet. So yeah, let's get this guy out of the box. So here he is, out of the package, and I gotta say I really like this figure. Uh, what I really like is the build, uh, he looks way more like the movie, uh, size comparison wise and muscle definition. He's a little bit bulkier than a homecoming suit, which is obvious the right choice because he's growing. And, and I really like all the small details in the suit, like all the stripes, the, the texture. Everything is molded, so that's pretty nice. And the look, it, it just really looks like the movie. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this guy. Uh, here he is, a little bit more closer. And I gotta say, I really like this figure, man. Just look at the overall. The texture and stuff looks really really good the back side what I really don't like is the SHF with all the cuts just look at this clean just like the movies and people say it looks like he has underwear on I really don't feel that way because when you have him in hand uh, it all depends on the light but it's all the same black so it it doesn't look like that it's just like the uh, homecoming suit because of all the blue it doesn't look like he has an underwear or something it's just one piece and it looks really great so as you can see all the detail just look at the forearm all the detail here let's focus on it as you can see sick man even the hands everything in the thighs the upper leg the detail goes everywhere it's just like uh, having a mini hot toys it, it's it's really nice even when you move the leg up it still continues just they did a really good job Mavex with all the detail the texture and I don't have any chipping or anything uh, same with the uh, new one one the into the spider for speeder uh, I didn't have to heat it up use silicone oil shock or anything on this guy it's just straight out of the box it's a really good figure nothing in between is just really good and no hindering of movement no unnecessary paint in between the joints everything is smooth and tight and everything stays in position really well he can look up really far which I really like I'm planning on making those uh, webbings that he has on my own so stay tuned for that I got a couple accessories made for him so I will show you guys in a minute but yeah let, let's go over uh, movement the articulation so it's just like the far uh, for the homecoming suit it's just the same only I feel like the neck joint is even better now I don't know why but he can look even better up right now that's something that I really like, especially for flight poses or just the webbing or just cool uh, web poses. Just like when he has the webbing right in front of him or something like that. So you have him like this. You can have his leg stick out. Those classic Spidey poses he always had in the comics. It's like, it's like this, like he's posing or something. And that also is really easy to pose around. He's fun to pose around. It's dope. But yeah, uh, for the articulation wise, the upper torso, you know, is uh, butterfly joints. And these are really nice. Just like I said, nothing is hindered or something. Can go all the way back, even like further than the homecoming suit. So the shoulder can almost touch his own head, which is crazy. Just look at that. Just, just a little bit. Uh, can go front 
pretty far. There's something that I also really like for all those cross-armed action. So he has like two twipping fingers, so you can put both twipping fingers here. So it looks like he's tripping. That would be dope. That's a dope pose. Uh, for the middle, he can go all the way to the back. Not much, but it's okay. It's because he's a little bit bulkier. He can go front pretty far. Better than the Into the Spider for Speeder, but I think that's because of the gut. Uh, I hope someone will make a, a, a modify uh, ball joint, hip joint, or whatever. So he has more movement. I'm too scared to drill, so he has more movement, but I'm uh, gonna wait until I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I hope somebody uh, will release something in between for the into the spider for speeder but yeah it's really dope legs okay it's a drop down movement and they are really nice and because if it's all black it falls away and uh, with the homecoming suits it's blue so you will always see a little bit cut but for pictures and stuff i already took a couple pictures of this guy and because of the red blue uh, red and black it's it's really dope because you a couple times you won't even see the uh, openings in the joints which is really nice so you can have him pose up real easy and he still looks dope uh, double knees ankle pivot 360 and toe pivot of course so yeah let's go over accessories with this guy he doesn't have much but I'm planning on making a lot of my own so I'm gonna show you guys what I made and here he is with a couple accessories that I made. Uh, I made a drone from the movies for Mysterio. I made a handpiece weapon that he has on the bridge. And I made his shield. I still gotta put on the tower bridge and the London sh uh, part on the shield. But yeah, for now I got this. I still wanna make uh, the web lines for when he's gliding in the air. Uh, I bought... Uh, uh, real drones uh, 112 skill and I'm not sure when those will arrive but this guy came early which I didn't expect because I was uh, thinking this guy would probably be delayed but it wasn't so that's something I'm uh, I'm glad about because Mayfax is most of the part really late but this time they weren't so that's cool uh, so yeah those drones probably will get here next week or the week after that corona I'm not sure they are shipped, so when they be here, I'm not sure. But when they will, I will do a short review of them. Uh, I got a normal version and I got a battle damage version. But yeah, uh, seeing this together, it actually works. And it was mostly for the stop motion that I did. So I had to make uh, small drones. But yeah, let's take a short look at it. Uh, I still have to paint it white and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, focus on it a little bit. So yeah, got a couple weapons underneath, the tree on the front. So yeah, it's it's not much, but for now it's okay. Still gonna paint it either way. <laughs> Might gonna, gonna use it for uh, one that's really damaged or molten or something. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do something with it. But yeah, let's put those accessories on this guy. Here he is with all the accessories. Um, he has the weapon in his hand and the shield. So yeah, I gotta say, it actually looks really dope. Uh, I use some metal wire, so it can be posed, uh, posed around the weapon which he throws. And the shield I just made so it fits in his hand underneath. Just like a Marvel Legends shield would do. But yeah, it fits, it works for now. And it was pure for the stop motion, but he does come with few items, so why not just really go for it? And just try to make it and it it's not that bad once i finish it i might uh, clone it and make it from real plastic but for now it's just hardboard paper it's okay he also comes with this head sculpt these eyes are just a little bit more squeezed uh, more serious like he's in a battle or something a little bit more focused uh, too bad he doesn't come with a peter tingle head head sculpt so what I'm gonna do is I might clone this one 
and just paint the eyes full black and uh, just have a Peter Tingle head sculpt so here we have all the spidey suits that we have up till now uh, I hope Mayfax does the very first suit that he makes himself that we see in uh, Homecoming, the Homecoming suit just his own uh, sweatsuit uh, that would be dope but for now I think the new black red is my favorite fig from the Mayfax line for the movie first after that the Iron Spider-Man and then the red blue original Stark suit and here we have the new uh, Into the Spider-Verse Mayfax figures and I gotta say this these two are probably still one of the strongest releases Mayfax did in the last couple months but to be honest this new homecoming suit does really look nice but if I gotta be honest this Peter Park is just I really 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 like the Spider-Verse movie uh, it's probably one of the best Spider-Man movies if I have to be honest for me it's Spider-Man 2 then it's like Spider-Verse then it's Spider-Man 1 with Tobey Maguire still then it's Far From Home and then it's all the rest and here he is next to Mayfax Carnage and Mayfax Venom comic first so if you want to do some crossover figures uh, I think it can work because he's small and if it can work for the spider first Miles why not for him and here he is next to the comic version Mayfax and the comic version Miles with the PS4 head sculpts and here he is next to all his movie counterparts and if I gotta be honest after seeing WandaVision's end I'm not sure we will get a Spider-Verse movie or crossover with all the other Spider-Man from all the other multiverse what they might do is in Doctor Strange 2 that we just see them web sling for two seconds or something just play it off real dumb don't really use them very well just really short two seconds that's it I'm not sure we will ever see those two in a movie again with what I really hope was that they might do a spider first kind of way that we will get a, a multiverse Miles Morales or an older version from Miles Morales that might train Peter Parker that they switch it up that would be fun but we will see what we they will do with the movies but seeing all the photos that are coming out right now a uh, couple leaks here and there and don't expect much with the multiverse just go with the regular stuff because I'm really not sure that we see these guys in a movie anytime soon and if we might see them it's probably just misuse we'll just see them for three seconds or something and here he is next to uh, all my custom spider-man movie franchise figures uh, I used all Marvel Legends so yeah here he is next to uh, Venom so let's focus on Venom as you can see there's my custom Venom right there custom Mysterio and Vulture in the back so yeah it looks really dope together I hope you guys like this review stay tuned for more job bless be good look after your family later guys thanks for watching